Mic check. Mic check. Well, <laughs> everybody, that was Mystics. Round of applause for uh, Mystics here. Thank you for coming to the show. It was a pleasure. I love that, that whole set. Um, so, yeah, I'm going to ask you just a few questions here. So you're originally from Miami, born and raised? Yes, ma'am. And uh, what's your background in music with Miami being born and raised here? Like, what influenced you and what, what the sounds that you're listening to growing up in Miami? Well, um, growing up in Miami was amazing because I listened to all the greatest music, booty bass, all of that. Um, I enjoyed Uncle Luke, Two Love Crew. Um, and then I also listened to a lot of different, like, rock music and all sorts of things. I started mostly like in elementary school and high school. I did a lot of chorus and band, so I was really like musically inclined. And then I moved on from like high school to like a punk band that I called Das Phobia. And we toured all over Miami, went to Club E, we went to so many places I can't even remember the names, but it, we were all over the place. And then I met an artist called Traumatized and he was like, yo, you should rap. And I'm like, you know, I feel like punk is really close to rapping. So I started rapping and singing, and I wanted to produce because I used a lot of different producers, and I felt like I wasn't getting the sound I wanted. So I started producing for myself, and that's where I am about right now. I'm producing uh, songs for myself, and this is one of them. This set is called the Cruising Set. And I see here while I'm up here, it's all Korg, and you have. When did you start using Korg? Is it the first gear that you bought? I also know that you spoke about your MPC um, and things like that. This is the main equipment that you like to use? For performing out, I love using the Korg Volca series. There's a lot of different series that I enjoy, but this one is the one that I started with um, probably five years ago. I got the Volca sample, and I made Angel Numbers, which is an album available on Spotify, so check it out if you want. And that is basically just easy listening music, um, basically f mostly instrumentation. And I experimented there with like singing bowls and just more meditative music because I wanted people to like go out and jog or meditate or just do easy things like clean the house, w like listening to some of this music because mus most of my music is very deep. I like to, my name is Mystic, so my mission is to enlighten myself and others through my music. So uh, my rap and R&B music is very, very deep. I always try to like go to those points of your soul where you're just thinking about yourself and what you want to do and just take that out into a song. Amazing, and you know, I went to the record shop not that long ago and I was digging and I pulled out this record and I was like, wait a second, is this Mystics? And sure enough, I, I bought the record without even listening to it and I didn't even know that, you know, there was a record out with you on it or, in, or the, sorry, the other artist that was on there. So that was really impressive. So you're on vinyl. Are you, I see that you also brought some CDs, which, is any of that available on your Bandcamp as well? Yes, it is. Down on Bandcamp, y'all. Um, what other format music do you look for, in, you know, that you, you would like to release in the future? I know you're speaking about another vinyl release. Um, are you building anything for 2023? What's coming out? What should we be looking out for? Well, you should definitely be looking out for cruising. But um, the first thing I'm going to be releasing in 2023 is Tarot, which is an album solely produced on my MPC Live using like Casio keyboards, Omnicord, Kalimba, like very different sounds. Um, I also use a lot of like djembe and like conga, like just stuff that makes you feel like earthy. Um, I wanted to do m more music that says less, but more at the same time. Each track is named after a tarot card so it starts in the beginning the fool and um, I do like five cards so yeah that's what's in store for next year apart from a lot of different other projects and you're also a Miami community radio resident so big shout out to MCR Ma in the b back there thank you all for facilitating this really because I wouldn't have met you if it would have been through Miami community radio and I saw you and just like you said your energy enlightenment um, your words what you say into into your music you know it's very inspirational for me you have the vibe I feel like whole calypso whole um, you know are you, are you Spanish your what is your heritage I'm African-American and Cuban so, yeah. so 
I'm Cuban as well, so we gotta rock that. And you know, it's awesome that you know we need more diversity in the music. We were speaking about that earlier, and being a woman and everything, it's it's been great, awesome. Um, yeah, anybody want to say have any questions in the crowd? Anybody? No, no, any questions? So thank you so much for being part of our showcase here. Um, hope to have more hits with you on there. Shout out to Shotgun Live and MCR. <laughs>